What's going on? It's your boy Prince Riley back with another uh, banger, man. And in today's video, we're gonna get into the top, bro. The top win users, bro. The top win users of all time. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to your boy, man. Don't leave me hanging, man. We need to get to a thousand subs, man. So do your boy a favor and subscribe, man. I'm gonna be coming out with some more bangers this week, okay? Some more top tens, okay? Cause y'all seem to like that. So we about to drop some more heat. Yo, I remember this, bro. I don't know about you, but among Bro. the basic elements in anime, wind is by far my favorite, right up there with ice. Yeah, yo, that was really something that about was this so element that creepy. represents the free spirit that resonates well Ooh, with me. Black it Over also helps that I prefer sleek and precise tactics in battle over the sheer. I remember that too. Or the sweeping might of Oh, they got. Ooh, okay, okay. The they have some good wind users in here. I see so far. There are a lot of characters that can harness the power of wind. Fortunately, anime. I wonder if I see characters that I don't know who have like crazy wind power. I think this is fairy tale. I have not gotten to into fairy tale, but damn, that looks crazy. Best. Doing so and comparing power levels is an exercise in futility. Instead, I'll be doing the top ten characters I like, be it due to their story. Oh, she. Oh, so he's doing his the list. Status quo of the series, Ooh, how creative their abilities bro, are, that wind power, bro. how badass they are. That being said, let's get started. Oh my God, this guy, my hero. Mm. Ooh. With the plethora be, of abilities and hard. powers available to the My Hero Academia cast, it was no surprise to find Yo. a character who harnesses the power of wind. For My Hero Academia, it yeah. comes in the form of the boisterous Inasa. Now, what surprised me here is the fact that Inasa doesn't look like your typical wind user. He's big he and really burly, doesn't, and he, he doesn't he, look he, like he typical huge and burly. wind powers. He's also not the brightest guy around. But don't let that fool you, though. He's one badass hero, and that can be seen in his being the ace of his Yo, school I and a fitting <sighs> form for this man right here was dangerous. I ain't gonna lie. He like defeated everybody in like one blow. Up next is another shonen character, Jin from Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho. If y'all haven't already, go see Yu Yu Hakusho. That was my show, bro. With Yu Yu Hakusho seemingly getting some much needed appreciation in recent mm. days, I think it's just fitting that we have Jin on this list. I Among think, demons and in the don't series, quote me, Jin's they're probably gonna reanimate this. To his if they reanimate Yu Yu Hakusho, kind of upbeat and it's gonna be over, enemy to Yusuke, Everything's gonna in contrast be done. To the more sinister villains, Except for One Piece. Up damn but everything's well. he gonna be done. Very creative use of his powers too. Everything's gonna be done. only his weapon, but also his ally in helping Yo, him close in this on enemies. Is he or does he remind you of Peter Pan? He's got crazy wind power. I want them to reanimate At you. Number Hacha. eight is Kagura. Kagura. Oh my God, bro. This is the show, bro. Listen. Indiasha, man. It didn't surprise me that Come one on of Naraku's incarnations in Inuyasha How did I would forget be about someone Naraku? with the power over wind. Oh, Kagura God, I'm fights embarrassed. using multiple variations of wind right attacks, ranging from bullets to huge Yeah, she tornadoes. was dangerous. What surprised though. me more is the amount of character. I haven't seen the show in a long time, so, so don't come for me in the comments. But Kagura this is the show. One of my favorite, simply because of the surprise. Let me actually let me know comment down below if y'all can get into this show because a lot of people didn't like get into this show and has some pretty neat scenes of her wanting to break free there's also the development with seshomaru to the point that aims to haunt the latter even after her part in the story is done yeah she was she was crazy right that wind power was on some other level type stuff Ooh. stop playing with your boy next in seventh is kazuma from stigma of the wind stigma of the wind <laughs> Oh, I, I ain't see this. I'm about to get into this. Oh, he got that wind power. Wind? Okay. I think it's quite an underrated show for how much fun I had with it. And with it came, for me, one of the earlier prototypes what? of the light novel hero. You know, with that reserved appearance that people often associate with Kirito clones and the status of being outcast. Due oh, to I see what he's saying. I see what he's saying. Overpowered he made a good point. Like Datsuya, that's Gazuma in a nutshell. He can't master fire magic, so he went with the next best thing. Wind, wind magic. magic. Look where that brought him. Standard wind attacks, being able to use his powers as a shield to the point of being near invisible. 
invincible. The list what? just goes on. I think that if you're the type to like overpowered and cool heroes, this entry just convinced you to watch some stigma of the week. This wind. man's flying, bro. Bro. He deflected it? Bro, that's crazy. It's kind of like an armor for him. Magi? Oh yeah, she was beast. I remember this. If you haven't already, go watch Magi. Ever since her introduction, I always had a liking for Hakue. She provides and the much needed this. air of idealism and sensibility in her family, Yo. which, at the point of the anime, was given the image of being the leaders of some warmongering empire conquering civilizations left and right. It doesn't help that the best of the Ren family had introductions or eventually mm. ended up being on the darker and more manipulative side of things. In contrast to especially the redhead siblings, Hakue provides a much softer edge. That doesn't mean that she's weak, though. Yo. She's the character that embodies bodies inner strength and resolve in contrast to the Yo, more compatible princes had, of the co empire she also dons quite the cool and badass stuff, transformation bro. when using the full power of her jin Speaking of idealistic and innocent, fairy tales Wendy Marvels at number yeah, 5 Yeah, Wendy fairy tale? I've seen some of fairy tale but not all of fairy tale She's beast She's flexing right now. She's flexing. Who could forget sweet little Wendy? Always bringing She's a vibrant flexing, energy bro. to the main fairy tale cast. Wendy's as tough as wind users go. She may not seem like it at first, but she's the wind dragon slayer. And we know what being a dragon slayer means in this series. Sure, she mainly plays a support role compared to the other dragon slayers, but where would the whole team be without her? Ever since her introductory arc, Wendy has played a very important part in practically every arc, both in helping the team in mm -hmm. battle or keeping the combustible elements in the guild in line bro. with her bubbly personality. Yo, she she is... can kick it up a notch in battle too as well. With right, access to the front. powerful dragon force, she can sure pack a punch when needed to. Nah, she's beast, bro. Come on, look at her, bro. What? Yo, look at her. She's flexing, bro. She got that dragon wind going. Let's go. From Jojo comes in at number four. Yo, this man. Go watch Jojo. Go watch Jojo. With the Go watch Jojo. With the we've seen from Jojo, it seems a shoe in that a wind-based ability would be lackluster. However, this being Jojo, you just know that you'll be able man to pull was out something flexor, creative bro. out of a mundane-looking ability and on a this pillar man to boot. A in Wabu's case, his entire body becomes his weapon as he channels the power of the wind. From his signature divine sandstorm, Wamu's capable of ripping anyone to shreds by manifesting his power in its most destructive form <sighs> using his very body. Even people like Caesar have trouble against the power of Wamu's attacks. Compared to the wild abilities in the Jojo universe, Wamu's wind abilities may seem tame by comparison, but that doesn't yeah, make those abilities flexor. any less dangerous for both his unfortunate opponents and himself. Bro! Arsta's this man had a whole windstorm. Like... On this list because, well, why wouldn't he? Just like Arsta, Black Clover, go watch it. If you have not king. watched that, Unlike Arsta, please though, go watch Uno's it. Uno's naturally talented and can be quite condescending. Yeah. With his amazing wind. Hold on, this man. This man had had like a whole wind attack that could decimate the goddamn planet. Go watch goddamn Black Clover. Jesus Christ, it was crazy powers manifesting in the form of arrows Word. and blades, it's not hard to see why he wouldn't end up that way. For me, Yuna really shines in his creativity and how he combines multiple facets of magic. Yeah, he knows how to use his wind this power is in large to part the maximum. Silk, which I, can I wonder who's number one, because he's number three. In a lot of okay, who's number one? Also one of those people who I gotta know who that is. an edgy anti-hero in his first appearances, but the story quickly turns that around and shows him in a more sympathetic light. He's one of the mm. more unambiguously heroic guys out there, and I think that's a pretty nice change of pace from the Sasuke characters in these shows. That is true. Falling a bit short of the top spot on the list is Number the two very is Dragon, badass bro. One Piece bro. Dragon. <laughs> One Piece Dragon bro. Luffy's father bro. If you haven't already known bro. Luffy's father be on that type of time right now. 
The we only got a glimpse of his power. Something that ought to send chills down the spine of any pirate hotshot in the world of One Piece, and for good reason too. Being Word. leader of the revolutionaries is one thing, but having the title Go watch of the One Piece if you haven't seen that. Man is another, especially when we have monstrosities like Kaido and Big Mom in the One Piece world. Look, I know bounties and titles may not mean much when it comes to the overall strength of the characters in One Piece, but it does still say a lot about him, don't you think? Mm. This is why every scene where he appears in and directly intervenes is treated like such a big thing, such as the one where he saves Luffy from Smoker. I doubt that anyone would be collecting the Sky High hmm. bounty for Dragon anytime soon. I think that he falls short from first place because, despite how badass Dragon is, he doesn't quite have the amount of development like our winner on this list does. Climbing the top and overcoming all Who's the competitors that? on the list, we have Naruto. Naruto? Yeah, that's right. He did have wind power. Rasengan. Let's go. Overcoming Come on, Naruto's one of the jamming up in there. Let's go. Down for himself. I'm not sure if Naruto is the first name that goes into your mind when we think of wind powers. No, it but I definitely think is not. Can match him in terms of the trials and challenges he's had to go through to get to the top. I think yeah, that, that also has something to do with the status of him being the main character of a story that spawned over a decade and captured the hearts of many anime fans. Still, it's a real joy to see the journey that Naruto took, which includes the acquisition of his now iconic Rasengan. Overall. I think that Naruto deserves this spot for being the quintessential shonen hero for a lot of growing teens in the early 2000s. He inspired a lot of growing kids in those days, and I think that this is the that greatest is power an anime character can have. It was. Oh man. So what do you think of that list? How would you rank these characters? Tell me through the comment section below because I want to know your opinions on this. I'm sure you can also I like this list. Awesome win users in All right, we gonna end right here, guys. You know, I enjoyed this list. This guy, man, listen, he makes the best list. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys will check out those animes too that I suggested and comment down below what's another like top top 10 video you guys want to react to like top 10 best uh one piece fights or something like that you know what i'm saying something of that sort but um yeah make sure you guys subscribe to the channel i will have merchandise coming soon i'm working on a logo for a t-shirt so you guys may like it so i'm gonna actually throw that out there um so yeah just keep an eye out for that but yeah, if anything, make sure you subscribe to the channel for your boy, man. Especially if you're new, alright? But, um, y'all you know what time it is. It's your boy, Prince Riley, and I'm out. Bye. Bye. Bye.